Well, now to Decision 2020 coverage, and we're about six months away from Election Day in November. A recent poll from OH Predictive Insights shows that Democrat Mark Kelly is leading Republican Senator Martha McSally 51 to 42 percent in the race for Senate. Now, the poll points to Kelly's overperformance among independent voters as the driving force behind his current lead. And as we continue our physical distancing here on Today in AZ, we are happy to say we're joined this morning by Senate candidate Mark Kelly from his home in Tucson. We appreciate you taking the time with us this morning. Well, thank you for having me on, Ryan. I really appreciate it. All right, well, let's get right to the questions here. We want to ask you first about the big news of the week. And what do you think of Governor Ducey's decision to delay the reopening of Arizona? And overall, how do you feel like he's handled this crisis? I think it was the right decision. Uh, the governor made it made clear that he wants to see more of a trend and a trend of decreasing hospitalizations. That's in, in accordance with the CDC guidelines. They said they wanted to see two weeks. And um, yeah, it's so critical that we stop the spread of the, of the virus. And that decision seems to be, in, in my opinion, seems to be the, the right way to go. All right, let's move on to unemployment, because that's something that is really hitting Arizonans hard. It's hitting people all across the country hard here. We're now up, because of these new numbers, up over 30 million new unemployment cases in the past six weeks. What would be your message to those who are struggling, and what would your plan be if you were elected? Well, so we've got to stop the spread of the virus first. We have a public health crisis. We also have an economic crisis with hundreds of thousands of Arizonans now out of work, can't pay their bills. The unemployment benef benefits federally you know, have been increased over what the state normally provides, but that's not going to last forever. So we've got to make sure that we have the backs of businesses, small businesses especially. There are 550,000 small businesses here in the state of Arizona. I think something of like 40% of Arizonans work at small businesses. We have to have their backs to make sure that those jobs are going to be available when we get through the health care crisis part of this and we can get back to work. All right, Mark Kelly joining us here, Senate candidate in the state of Arizona. And what we love to do here on Today in AZ is get our viewers involved. We ask them for some questions that they would like to ask you. So let's get right to it here. Okay. This question is coming from Kenneth Overturf, and he asked, in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, what is your opinion in having expanded health care services? Well, we need to make sure that everybody has access to good health care that they can afford, that they can get if they have some sort of pre-existing condition that they can keep if they get sick. We have so many Arizonans that don't have health care coverage. Uh, you know, recently we expanded access. I worry about these folks that are recently unemployed that are then going to lose their health care coverage and their families are going to lose their health care coverage. We've got to make sure, I mean, this was no fault of theirs, that they're recently unemployed because of a global pandemic. Uh, we've got to make sure we have their backs. Um, so, I mean, expanding health care access is good for the state of Arizona, and we need to continue to move in that direction. Senate candidate Mark Kelly joining us from his home in Tucson here this morning. Uh, Mark, thank you for the time. Great to, to be on your show. Thank you very much.